Hey, this is Jason from Denworks. Got something pretty cool here today. It's a 1978 280Z. And just a really neat, neat little car. This is actually owned by a friend of mine. And uh, Stanley's checking it out there. And uh, he just asked me to help him sell it. And it's just really a cool little car. You know, he's had it on different events and stuff like that. He had it on a, a rally uh, here in the Northwest. And you guys probably, you know, maybe some of you guys saw it on the rally itself. And Brinkett Trailer was at the rally as well. And uh, Michael was. So I think they went about 200 miles um, in two days. So anyways, uh, really neat little car. We'll do some walk around. And uh, he also did a little... Uh, racing and stuff on the on the track and previous to that um, the car wasn't real streetable uh, because it was it was running in uh, like some hill climbs and autocross and uh, different events like that so he had to take and uh, reverse a lot of stuff and um, it was, there was no back window and uh, just different stuff and uh, upgraded the uh, roll bar and stuff so he wanted to make it more of a street car and uh, where you can still take it out and uh, and race it and and uh, do different stuff, but uh, just just to make it streetable and with lights and, and everything. So we'll just do a little walk around here. I'm going to start in the front and uh, we'll show you the lights. You got your headlights. You got bright lights. We got blinkers. See the blinkers are right up there in the front. And uh, it's got the uh, plexiglass covers, which I like those. You can see the marker lights work here on the side. And, uh, you know, it uh, doesn't have, you know, paint-wise, you know, it was blue before. And uh, he wasn't trying to make anything fancy because it was a race car. He wanted something to drive. And uh, so, you know, the paint's not perfect on it. And it wasn't meant to be, but it actually looks pretty good. And uh, looks nice. I like the looks of the car in general and uh it's got a new air dam on the front and uh custom uh grill and uh bumperettes here and uh we'll look down the side it's actually pretty straight and uh looks nice you can see the old old school wheels inky uh style wheels and uh tires are 215 60 by 15s pirellis all the way around it but um, you'll see some paint, you know, imperfections, and uh, you can see here, there's a, a little crease there, actually on both sides that happened when it was loaded on a car trailer uh, at one point, but one nice thing about this car is it's not rusty, and uh, actually really clean, you look across the rockers there, right here you can see kind of a little discoloration in the paint there, and uh, these are decals if you wanted to take them off, and uh, it's got custom grill inserts, which I actually really like those on the car. And uh, we'll just look here at the door. You can see a little, little tiny indention uh, there. You can see around the wheel lips. You know, no rust around those, but you will see a little. There's a little imperfection in the paint, some paint crazing, and uh, and things. But we'll go ahead and look down the roof gutters. You know, again, not rusty and looks actually pretty clean. And uh, look here behind the back wheel. And uh, I've seen this car drive down the highway and stuff, and it, it actually looks really good. And a lot of people, you know, they look at it, they like it, and uh, it turns a lot of heads. But um, we'll go ahead and uh, flip it around so you can see the other side. I do have to tell you, I mean, this car is actually pretty fun to drive. and. Uh, really good throttle response and the uh, brakes work great and uh, no noise in the transmission you know on downshifts or anything so it's actually it's actually a really good car I mean I think it's something that uh, someone can have a good time with and um, you know you can daily drive it if you want to and uh, continue on the theme uh, take it to you know do a little racing little autocrosses and stuff little hill climbs and you'll just have the, the time of your life so anyways we'll uh just cruise around and show you some more stuff later okay here we are we flipped it around so you can see it uh, a little better in the sun 
you know, obviously it's running. Go ahead and rev it up just a little bit. You know, I love the sound of these uh, these cars, and uh, you know, it's just a nice, it's just a nice looking car. And uh, I'm gonna go ahead and show you the lights stuff we're working back here. You can see the brake lights, tail lights are on, brake lights, blinkers. You got your left, and you got your right. You even got uh, reverse working. You can see there. I'm gonna have to take a look here. I know that the lights aren't working there. Um, I'll have to double check those. And uh, we'll go ahead and look at the back of the tail light panel. And I like the look of the car from the back. And uh, if you look down the side, you know, it looks pretty straight. Again, you're gonna see some little imperfections and, and little things. And uh, you can see here, I mean, the most important thing though, you can see there's not any rust and uh, no big rust bubbles or, or anything like that. It's actually a real solid little car. You can see the rocker is good. You can see a little paint flaking uh, right there. But overall, looks good. A little paint flake in there. Some little imperfections. And uh, not trying to beat the car up or anything, but I just definitely want you to know exactly what it is. And, um, you know, it's just it's just made to look nice and have some color because it, you know, it's just been raced a lot and, and uh, different things through the years. And, and uh, you can see here, it's got some custom, uh, back window uh, supports and that's a plexiglass window you can see here it's got pins for the back those are functional obviously and uh, we'll go ahead and look at the front no sport mirrors see here the hood you can see some imperfections on the top of the hood some little little bit of waviness and uh but overall looks looks nice and uh the caps here they fit on here pretty good on the inkies but there is some tape going around them and they're really hard to pull off but uh, you might want to get different caps for it uh, down the road and uh, but they stay on there pretty good I, I wouldn't be able to grab that with my hand off there you'd have to probably take a rubber mallet or something but you know look across the front here again you know I, I like the look of the car in general and, and it's actually really fun to drive. I've driven the car and, um, you know, I think someone will have a lot of fun with this car and, you know, doing uh, races and uh, different things, rallies and events of your own. So I figured I'd go out here and uh, do a little cold start uh, for you. As you know, I'm kind of into a little everything, but uh, 1964 Grumman van. And uh, I got the Z parked over over here for the moment. Also, if you remember on Bring a Trailer, when I first started on Bring a Trailer, I actually had a had a uh, seven liter uh, Galaxy, and uh, here's another one, factory 428 car. Uh, anyways, I just want to do a little cold start here for you. I haven't started it actually since yesterday. So I'll just hop in here. You know, it's fuel injection, so you don't have to hit the gas or anything. Yeah. There we go. You can see here the gauges. The working bolt meter. Uh, 
shut off for uh, um, the power. So we'll let it warm up here for a minute and uh, we'll take it out for a little drive. You can see here where the lights are. Then you got our wipers. They're actually working. And uh, so, uh, you know, overall for a car that's, you know, that did a lot of little autocrosses and, and different things, uh, pretty functional actually, which is really nice. And uh, you can see there, there's the fuse box down there. There's not a panel on it. The panel's on the other side here, but uh, we'll uh, cruise it around for a little bit. And you know, this uh, car originally too, I'll just mention, had factory air conditioning as well. And uh, so um, I just wanted to point that out. And the uh, cigarette lighter was missing there. show you real fast here the uh, temp gauge is up now you can see the blinkers they're working in the dash there and uh, if the headlights are on you can see up here that the bright light hopefully you can see that it's popping on and off so we'll uh, cruise it around here also I just wanted to mention too you know the cigarette lighter wasn't working but this is a uh, cigarette lighter area here and then it's also got a, a USB right there hard to do with my left hand so uh anyways we'll uh cruise it around and drive it around a little bit and show you some more stuff Okay, here we're going to take a look at the interior. The door locks don't uh, work. I've actually, I tried to put the key in there and they don't work. And uh, you can see here the interior, eh, for the most part, you know, the dash and console uh, are stock, but you got different uh, carbu seats um, in it. And uh, you got custom door panels on it as well. And uh, it's got a five-speed in it. You can see the steering wheel. Here it's a uh, NRG Innovations. You can see the gauges and stuff. Heater. The gauges across there. We'll turn it on so you can see what's working. And uh, actually the console looks in, in pretty nice shape. You can see again it doesn't have any carpet uh, or anything in here. And uh, no headliner. You can see up there. I remember these mirrors back when in the 80s and 90s. A friend of mine had one of those in his Trans Am. I thought that was so cool. And uh, back in the day, you can see it's got uh, G Force uh, racing harness uh, there in both seats. So I want to show you the jams. You can see here the VIN number this matches to on the window and underneath the hood 468487. And uh, the jams actually look really good, and I don't see any signs of any accident uh, or anything like that. You can see up in here, this looks good too. And uh, right here you can see some welding up on this door uh, right there. And uh, we'll look at the end of the door here too. We'll take pictures underneath the door too so you can see them. And uh, so on the windows, actually let's roll down the windows real fast. I'll show you this one here. You know, it does roll up and down nice. Show you the other one real quick. There you go. And uh, we'll hop on the other side there. You can take a look. Okay, here we're going to take a look at the interior on the uh, passenger side. Just want to show you the door panel and uh, 
everything. You can see the jam here looks good. You know, look here in the door jam on this side too, and uh, you know, getting the seats. You know, this is a dash pad. You can see the the edge right there, and it's really impossible to find one of these cars without a uh, replacement dash. Uh, in them, and it's just a just a cover that goes over. But overall, the interior looks pretty good, and uh, you know it's a it's a pretty tidy car for what it is, and uh, someone will enjoy it. Yeah, we're gonna take a look underneath the hood. There's a little pull lever underneath, and uh, you can just grab right here, a little push push button, and. Uh, you know, I, I'm pretty sure it's the original motor. Um, you know, on this year, they didn't actually put the uh, the engine number here. You know, it's an L28, but in some of the earlier ones, you'll see the engine number actually on the tag. You can see the tag 468487 matches up here on the, the windshield 468487. And uh, you can see that tag has had you know better days but at least that matches underneath the hood there too and looks like it got ripped off there a little bit and we can still see the the rivets and stuff uh there so anyways uh engine compartment uh you know looks pretty sound and and nice you can see it's uh got a different air cleaner up here on the front still run a fuel injection you know so actually really really reliable and uh you know up here on the aprons and stuff looks really good and i don't see any any damage or anything and uh, no rust in the in the uh, box there in the battery box which has been relocated in the back and uh, you know we'll go ahead and uh, start it up here I was just noticing here this little light is it turning on and uh, not uncommon and uh, but we'll go ahead and uh, turn it on you can hear it run go ahead and rev it up just a little bit Go ahead and rev it up. You know, it sounds great. And uh, we'll go around here to the other side real fast and uh, take a look. And uh, right here, well, the engine number, it actually reads R902471 L28. So, correct kind of motor, I just don't know if it's the, the one that came with the car brand new. And, uh, um, can't see the color code on there anymore, but you know, again, there's no accident damage up here on the front. Looks actually really good. The inner apron uh, looks real nice. So um, we'll go ahead and uh, show you some more stuff. Hey, we'll take a look at the uh, trunk here. We'll pull the little little hood pins here. Actually, I guess we should call them a trunk pin. And I just wanted to show you back here. Looks in actually pretty good shape. I mean, what we're looking for here, um, you know, it's not all carpeted or, or anything like that. And uh, I just want to show you the structure back here. You know, usually this is the place where they get rusted. Um, maybe they get hit in the back or something like that. But this is actually pretty clean. I'll take the spare tire out uh, here in a second. But, you know, everything looks real good in this car. You can see the paint flaking off on the edge there. But uh, overall, it looks looks in uh, pretty good shape here it's got new struts on it and uh, you can see here the battery is a little tall for this uh, this lid and uh, but you know the main thing here you can see the roll bars in good shape <clears throat> and uh, it's got a fire extinguisher the uh, shock mounts and shock tower and stuff looking really really nice uh, condition and uh, I'll go ahead and pop this tire out here for you We'll look at the trunk floor. You know, again, it's not rusty. You know, this is a really solid car. We'll put it up my lift, and uh, so you can see it. But we'll look inside the quarter panels here. Um, they look really good, and uh, you don't see any damage. We'll look here across the tail light panel. Again, you know, very good, very good condition. So. Okay, here we are. We're going to take a look underneath the, the little 280. You're still going to see the uh, still photos and everything, but 
Um, I like to do a video underneath too so you can just see different components and it's just easier to talk about it uh, sometimes and it, it just gives you another perspective in general. But so we'll uh, just start here in the front and work our way back. You know, pretty solid cars, definitely had some upgrades, um, you know, to make it handle a little better and especially for like autocross and, and different things. And uh, so you can see here it's got a really large sway bar on it, probably, I guess probably an inch. You can see here the, it's got urethane bushings and stuff that have been upgraded. It's got Ebok uh, springs all the way around it and uh, on the struts. And um, you can see here, it's actually been upgraded with uh, four piston calipers um, off of a Toyota. And uh, just up here on the front, so it's got disc on the front and uh, drums on the back. You can see here they've been vented as well. It'd actually be nice to put another venting tube here up to the to the front there so um, you can see here the radiator support looks good hasn't been damaged looks in good shape and uh, you can see up here up in the spring area you know real nice I don't see any crinkles or anything which is important when you're looking up here so that looks looks in good shape we'll come around here to the drivers or uh, passenger side you can see there the spring, you can see the shock mounts look good. Again, no damage or anything. Looks actually really clean. You know, the engine, um, you can see it's got, uh, you know, just some uh, seepage and different things, but nothing hits the ground. It's uh, actually pretty dry in general, it's just from years of, uh, of use and, and different things. You can see here the urethane bushings here, and uh, you can see here it's got a Near ball joint there on the bottom, and look here. We're gonna look up here next to the battery box. You know, it actually looks really clean, and uh, you can see the frame looks good inside here as well. It's got a bigger exhaust on it, as you can see. It's probably, oh, I'm guessing probably two and a half, you know, two and a half inch. And uh, you can see it's been scraped here on the bottom. And uh, it's got a resonator, a uh, little muffler here, and it's got a muffler here in the back. And uh, that's actually a flow master. You can see right there. But uh, we'll go back here and look at the floors on the car. Actually pretty solid. You're gonna see some uh, denting and stuff on the floors. And, uh, but overall the floor here on the driver's side looks, looks really nice and in good shape you can see here on the rocker you know again it's not rusty and uh looks looks in good shape you can see that damage here on the fender and uh you'll notice different things when you get down here low on the paint you know some of the waviness and uh there's a little you know the the car's not uh a bondo uh king like i said but you'll see some areas where some filler yeah, as you can see right here a little bit of filler hopefully you can see that and uh, you notice more of this stuff probably why it's on the ground and uh, so you know it's just basically you know made you know kind of just a race car paint job and uh, you can look back here on the axle you know the boot looks good and you know it's got drums back here a couple tie downs for on a trailer but again on like a Z car for sure you know it's not all rusty up inside up inside here and we showed you inside the trunk inside the wheel well here looks actually really good you can see these two two mounts up there for the um, for the uh, roll bar as well and you can actually see the original spot welds around the quarter we'll go over here on the passengers uh, side you can see the gas tank rear balance original spot welds Coming across here, we'll look up here inside the wheel well. You can see the springs. You know, again, it's not rusty up here. It looks looks actually in pretty good uh, shape. Go ahead and look at the floor. You can see a little tiny dent right there, and uh, but the rockers look nice. You can see a small indention right here nothing major 
and here on this door when you look down low you can see a little bit of filler right here and here on the car so just trying to be honest about it and uh, you know it's a nice little car but it does have you know it does have some flaws and uh, you can see here on the rock or the uh, frame rail again looks real solid floor looks nice see one little tiny maybe little pinhole right there you can see a little filler right here that someone put on there and uh, probably a little rust a couple little rust spots uh, there but you know when they were racing it and stuff back you know during uh, hill climbs and all that stuff they were just trying to to seal it over those spots so those areas could probably be uh, repaired if you wanted so you can see the trans uh, tunnel everything looks good a little damp right here on the gearbox but uh, you know again nothing that's hitting the floor so hopefully that gives you a good look of it underneath and uh, it just gives you another little perspective and uh, you know it's just a nice nice little car that someone can hop in and then drive uh, right now it's it's actually really dependable and uh, so if you got questions give me a call and uh, love to talk to you about it and uh, you can make comments on bat um, See you later.